Welcome into the Recap Rush Hour for Wednesday, March 27th. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by your Chicagoland Chevy dealers. They are the official truck partner of the Chicago Bears and greater Midwest exteriors, quality and craftsmanship you can trust. Find them at gmechicago.com. All right, LSU's Pro Day. Today, Bears had a large contingent of front office personnel, coaches, and scouts there presumably to watch wide receiver Malik Neighbors, but absolutely going to put their eyeballs on Heisman Trophy winning quarterback Jaden Daniels, who some people, including Dan Orlovsky, think is the number one quarterback in the draft class. Here's what we're hearing today. First of all, I can tell you the Bears love Malik Neighbors, the wide receiver, and early observations, very, very positive. Neighbors was clocked at 4.35 in his 40-yard dash. He's not expected to be available when Bears pick at number nine. He's also now considered by multiple teams the number one wide receiver in the draft, surpassing Marvin Harrison of Ohio State. The reviews have quarterback Jaden Daniels mixed, not as positive today. And the betting markets, which tell you a lot, the betting markets have moved J.J. McCarthy up to the favorite to go number two to the Washington Commanders. That leads us to our Oasis Restoration question of the day. They'll clean up the mess so you don't have to. Find them at oasisrestorationco.com. I love those guys. If you were running the draft, Caleb's going one. Don't tell me you're trading number one. That's not the question. The question is, what would you do at pick nine? You trading up to go get Joe Alt to play left tackle? You trading up to get Neighbors or Marvin Harrison or Roma Dunze? You staying where you're at and taking a defensive player? Or are you trading down? What are you doing? Post your comments right here on YouTube. The best answer, you're taking your family on a gift card to get dinner at Lou Malnati's. Uh, you can catch them at LouMalnati's.com or TasteofChicago.com if you want to ship around the country. Steelers are planning on having Justin Fields wear number five. I saw the picture. It's so bizarre. Russell Wilson will wear number three. Again, Fields, they're planning at this point, he's going to be number five. Free agent pass rusher Jadavian Clowney has agreed to a two-year deal with the Carolina Panthers. Bulls and Pacers will tee it up at the United Center. I'll have the recap as soon as that game goes final. Better find a way to win tonight after you just completely peed down your leg against an awful Washington team the other night at the United Center. That was a train wreck. And finally, our Four Seasons Heating, Air Conditioning, Plumbing, and Electric story of the day. You're going to love this. Iowa women's basketball star Caitlin Clark has been offered by the big three league that Ice Cube owns five million bucks. Five million bucks, Ice Cube said. On social media today, we intended the offer to remain private while Caitlin Clark plays for an NCAA championship. But I won't deny what's now already out there. The Big Three has made a historic offer to Caitlin Clark. Why wouldn't we? She is a generational athlete who can achieve tremendous success in the Big Three. Love it! Love it! She moves the needle, and she's a phenomenal player. Have a great rest of your day. See you at the Bulls recap. Let's see if they can even look like an NBA team. Because Lord knows their front office doesn't take that.